let me kind of recap what happened for you, and we'll bring this stuff up on screen as I do. Uh, last night, BuzzFeed ran a 35-page intelligence report claiming that Russia had some seriously compromising uh, content on Donald Trump. Something to do with Russian broads and urination. It was golden shower gate was the trend. CNN was all too happy to go along with this. They claimed intelligence gave Trump a two-page addendum to last Friday's report. This was, by the way, this was even in question from the New York Times. So it came out from BuzzFeed, okay? When you first heard about this, you thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna, this is bad for Trump, right? Yeah. Well, I think you, at a this lot point, of us thought like, uh, come on. But I think people who aren't following the news super closely, who don't really understand fake news, meaning CNN, meaning BuzzFeed versus real news, thought, oh, this is what's going to seal uh, Trump's coffin. So here's the truth. The 35 page report was provided by opposition research uh, to Trump rivals and Hillary Clinton supporters. And this was prepped by a retired British intelligence officer who was paid to create a report hurting Donald Trump. Here's the thing. Donald Trump has made some mistakes. We've talked about this. The media has, they're just, and, and Scott, our producer, they just keep giving him these gifts. You know, the Russia thing, they maybe were able to tie, tie it together. They, they could have perhaps run with the story that Donald Trump is, is flagrantly disregarding the intel community. Rick Santorum made the brilliant point that he's not, that he's at, he's at war with heads of intelligence committees, not intelligence agencies themselves. And you can see that, right? The left was furious with Comey. It's not like it's exclusive to the right. Sometimes you have people who are in positions of authority and you have a problem with it. The left could have run with that and said that Donald Trump Trump does have a problem with people uh, in the CIA, doesn't believe the briefings, we find this irresponsible, you would have gotten more, you would have made more traction with that, but you give him the gift of something from BuzzFeed, from BuzzFeed Ben Smith about Donald Trump pissing on Russian prostitutes. <laughs> And you run it out there, and there is zero substantiation to the point where Tom Brokaw, one of the most leftist reporters ever, next to Dan Rather, is like, oh, this has been going on for a while. He was really <laughs> saying in a professional way, I'm surprised how moronic you are. He knew that it was false. Imagine him sitting back in his in his reclining leather chair watching CNN, and there, he sees the report, the 35-page report that he knew that he debunked behind the scenes, was unable to corroborate three months ago. Oh, dear God. He knows what <laughs> hacks they are. You want to talk about fake news? This is fake news. CNN, it, 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 they, they have gone so far. They have soiled themselves so many times now. It's going to make it too easy for Donald Trump. And people were worried about Donald Trump maybe stepping on the press too hard, not entirely understanding the First Amendment, kind of like Barack Obama banning Fox News. Uh, uh, but you make it easy for the guy to shut you down at this point. It's, it's, it's a worthy shutdown, right? Donald Trump saying, I don't like CNN, your ratings suck, you're overrated. I would have put, uh, you know, okay, like, ah, uh, that would be bad, and I think that all the press should be allowed. But when they're saying, uh, Mr. Trump, did you urinate on Russian servant girls? Shut up. That's, that's not, that's not really something that's indefensible. They gave him the gift, and then Donald Trump is the gift that keeps on giving because he had a press conference today. And what's so funny is you knew he was just sort of sitting, waiting, bobbing and weaving and <laughs> loading up on that right hand. And he had his press conference, the first one, uh, I think, since he's become the president-elect. Let's see what that was like. I think it was uh, disgraceful, disgraceful, that the intelligence agencies allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. That information that was false and fake and never happened got released to the public. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage. Oh! President elect! Here's the thing, there are a lot of things I don't like about Donald Trump sometimes, but him calling the media out, that's when we rally, yes. that's when we're yelling that's, in the blue face paint. Frankly, that's when we win. That's when we win. There was more that happened in the press conference, we need it, let's, let's get to what really. Uh, it's all fake news, it's phony stuff, it didn't happen, and it was gotten by opponents of ours, as you know, because you reported it and so did many of the other people. It was a they used to be called reporters. It got Donald. together, sick people, and they put that crap together. So, Whoa! 
Sick people. Crap. Can you believe it, though? I, I, I can't. It, it, it gets better. It gets better? It gets better. No, our news not organization. You. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you are stop. attacking our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state... Can, Quiet. Mr. President-elect, can she, you state categorically... Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? You're rude. attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give us a question? I'm not going to give you a question. Can you state categorically... You are fake news. Sir, can you state... Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.